Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Hornet demonstrating how to use on speed angler attack to land at the correct airspeed and ensure that your tail hook can connect with the wires on the carrier. To keep it nice and simple for this demo, we're on a long final into Nellis. The principles are just the same if you're coming into a carrier or if you're landing from the overhead brake. You just have a few extra things to juggle with at the same time. We're starting with flaps fall down and our speed brake open. We're slowing through 340 knots, about 4,000 feet on the radar altimeter. Reducing the throttle and compensating with pitch to get our airspeed down so we can deploy the gear. Let's bring up my control positions at the bottom left of the screen. Flaps travel at 250, speed drops off and we can lower the gear. E brackets up there on the HUD and the goal is now to try to get the flight path marker in the middle of the E bracket lined up with the touchdown point about halfway between the 5 degree pitch line and the horizon line. Pulling back on the stick slows the aircraft increasing the AOA but this makes our descent shallower so we need to reduce the throttle to hold the same flight path. The net result is that the path marker moves up the E bracket trimming out back pressure from the stick with nose up trim as I go along. I tried to adjust my descent rate with pitch there and you can see it sent me on a bit of a wobble. Avoid that temptation and just use the throttle to control your descent rate. And we're of course so we'll fix that with some roll and some throttle. Finally the flight path markers ended up a little high on the E bracket. I can correct that with a couple of tiny flicks of the nose down trim adjusting the throttle to compensate and stay on path. Remember, if you're coming up short, throttle up. If you're going long, throttle down. Trim Altitude. in the direction that you want the Altitude. flight path marker to move against the E-bracket. Perfect. Now we can control the plane entirely using tiny roll and throttle movements. You can see the aiming point, and we're roughly on glide slope. The best thing is, you don't have to be landing in order to practice this. You can practice flying straight and level at slow speed, the gear deployed and flaps down to try to get on speed AOA. And then adjust the throttle and watch what happens to the flight path marker and the e-bracket. The plane really is flying itself now. I'm very confident in the touchdown point, so let's watch from the outside. And... We're down. Nice puff of smoke there. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS in 3 or less, and you've got space game. There's plenty more Hornet content to come, so land your finger right on that subscribe button.